Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. No problem. Weird. Strandberg is a lunatic. Okay. No, he is capitalist. Uh, what, what should we do if Crystal Doll get involved? The matter of that. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. So, do we have an understanding? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrecy. And you don't have to. Orders are orders. Look, trust me, you don't want us in the building. We don't need to... What? is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Target down. Next up, Reza Zaydan.
Sorry, sir. This area is restricted at the moment, so I can't let you through. Work 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. some beautiful women, I'll give them that. And they sure seem to flock around him with his chiseled Omar Sharif jaw. Did you see that model he's dating? I'd like to line up for some of that. But they're really not into him, you know? It's the uniform. Chicks like medals. Even if you bought them rather than burned them. <laughs> oh, you're preaching to the choir, man. I mean, sure, Zayden does date some beautiful women, I'll give him that. And they sure seem to flock around him with his chiseled Omar Sharif jaw. Do you see that model he's dating? I'd like to line up for some of that. But they're really not into him, you know? It's the uniform. Chicks like medals, even if you bought them rather than earned them. <laughs> I hear you, brother. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
How are you, sir? Oh, that's okay. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. was there. Money? <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 